Now I'll put some ribbons on this because hunting season is still on. Dr. Lynn Rogers was working to protect his research bears last fall by putting heavy, bright colored ribbons on their radio collars. Now he is imploring supporters of his research to act by raising their voice by writing letters, emails, and signing a petition to get support in the state legislature to offer legal protection for his research subjects. With the extensive work that has been put into building trust between human researchers and their wild subjects, Rogers is very concerned about losing any of his research bears. But this last year, across the state, 11 radio collared bears were shot. Two from this project, nine from the DNR research. Interest in black bears has greatly increased across the nation and around the world after Rogers installed a live camera in a bear den two years ago. This winter, another camera was installed and rapt audiences watched mother black bear Lily and her yearling cub Hope as Lily gave birth to a pair of new cubs. Rogers has now appealed to his network of den cam watchers to lobby lawmakers to encourage DNR Commissioner Tom Landweir to change his ruling and protect research bears. Landweir responded by saying, while Mr. Rogers' research is popular and interesting, it is not essential to managing bear populations in Minnesota. As a matter of policy, our job at the DNR is to manage entire populations of wild animals, and singling out individual bears for protection is not a policy this commissioner supports. Landweir and Rogers now agree the issues should be decided by the state legislature. Meanwhile, Rogers continues to encourage lobbying efforts through his bear.org website. From the Northlands News Center, I'm David Hooley for Nature Matters.